iFanboy at New York Comic Con 2012 is brought to you by Seagate. I'm here with Jerry Duggan. How you doing, sir? Very good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So one of the books that have been raved about this year has been the hardcover collection of Infinite Horizon. It finally wrapped up. It, it, uh, I hope it was worth the wait. I know it was uh, delayed, but uh, yeah, we're thrilled to have it done and out, and uh, we're very gratified by the response. Well, I remember when the book came out, we were at Emerald City, we hung out a bit there, and it just seemed like everybody came coming over for it, and that was, seemed to be like the book of that show. Has that continued throughout the year? Yeah, um, I, and in fact, we sold out of the hardcover at the show. I had a few that I sort of hoarded, yeah. and then we sold out of the soft cover, and, and so now it's back in print at New York Comic Con, and nice. I'm Really, really excited by the response. Yeah. Thrilled. I mean, and you and Phil did a great job on it. It was well worth the wait. So, yeah, Thank so. you very much. I appreciate it. So uh, your name was back in the news when Marvel was doing all their Marvel Now stuff, and looks like you're tackling Deadpool. Right? It's a, it's a good time to be in the Jerry Duggan business. Yeah. <laughs> so uh -huh. tell me, what can we expect from you working with Tony and uh, Brian on, uh, on on Deadpool? We're we're opening up with uh, I th I hope a big fun story with. Um, you know that that will lend itself more to some big comedy ideas, and you know we're we're really going for that. And then things will sort of take a darker turn, and it'll still we're going to have comedy in there. But you know, if there's one thing that Brian Posehn does really well, it's darkness. Yeah. And so that it's more of that will seep into the book in the in the longer run. Yeah. But uh, with with Tony, you know, up front it was like, oh man, we want to do some undead stuff. We want to do funny stuff. Yeah. We pitched them the the. the Dead presidents coming back, and Marvel didn't say no, so we were like, "We got it." That's great. That's yeah. awesome. So now there have been a bunch of different incarnations of Deadpool over the years. I mean, you had just the Mercenary, the Liefeld version, then you had the Joe Kelly version, and then you know, and then most recently Rick with X Force. What is your guys' kind of approach when you approach uh, Deadpool? Well, I think you know uh, we're informed by all of those runs. You know, I, I, we're all fans of, of Rick's, obviously, and and Dan Way did a great job. And I think our Deadpool is going to stay the the oddball. The, the he'll he'll never quite fit any in any of the pegs, but he does want to belong, yeah. and so we're going to play with that. And we're starting to build um, some characters around him that, you know, for different reasons they'll they'll stick around. And you know, he is a real person under the mask, and so that's what we want to get to. And one of the ways that you can hurt him, or or you know, he has got a healing factor, so you're not gonna you're not gonna hurt him that way. And and there are other ways. To do to attack a guy like that, and and so look for look for him to be in some pain that is other than physical. I hope. <laughs> cool. So have you guys? Are you guys started? Have you gotten dazzled by Tony Moore's pages yet? Or yeah. I'm thrilled to death. You know, we were huge Tony fans yeah. before. You know, Walking Dead and and Fear Age, and and he's just so wonderful, and he's really channeling in some of these pages like uh, just gains like m mad and e you know old EC horror just. Yeah, really tremendous. If if you're a fan of that stuff, Tony's work on this book, I think it's my favorite stuff that he's ever done. Yeah. Really objectively, just wow. The first issue floored us, and then he got even better. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, if if we don't succeed, it won't be because Tony did something wrong, or Val Staples has been wonderful, and you know we have Jeff Darrow doing covers it's oh, just man. like it was ours to fumble if, yeah. if we screw up it's really our bad so so um and now anybody who tackles deadpool has to deal with the wrath of rob liefeld on twitter um he already took some opening shots we, it was a a welcome uh, you know what it was like it was like uh john mcclain hanging out of uh, nakatomi plaza going welcome to the party assholes <laughs> it was it was it was great you know we had we had fun um you know obviously i i didn't really uh engage or respond and you it's know it's best to ignore him well, <laughs> yeah and look uh, you know it's uh, he we didn't have to i think he may be uh angered other people were look i had my hands full that day it was a really big day <laughs> and then i, I kind of came back to twitter and was like oh my god what is happening and you know uh he's got his opinions and i'll leave it at that yep. excellent well we wish you best of luck with the book we can't wait to see it so yeah. awesome thank, thank you thank you Josh, I got this. I'm on this really weird Wi-Fi signal, and it's got all these really strange German industrial movies. They're all, all right, streaming that, right to it. That's my Seagate GoFlex satellite. Oh, it's you. You, you can keep oh. up to 500 gigabytes of, of uh, movies, 
uh, music, anything you want on here and stream it to your device yep. with its own Wi-Fi signal. You just get the free Seagate GoFlex satellite app and you can stream all your content to your iPad, to your Android devices, whatever you want, so you can get your German industrial movie fix. Industrial, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> I gotta remember to lock this thing. Yeah. <laughs> so it streams Wi-Fi, it's got a great battery, lasts a long time, great for road trips, right? It's a really cool little device, and uh, you, you can pretty much put anything on it, and you'll have more stuff on here than you'll ever have time to watch. It's good for kids, good for all that stuff. Plane rides. All of yeah. these things. Uh, and uh, you can, if you are an iFanboy viewer, yep. you can get 10% off. Where can they do that? They can go to Seagate.com slash iFanboy and sign up there and get 10% off buying the Seagate GoFlex hard drive. And we thank them for their support of iFanboy at New York Comic Con. It's really mostly just kids' movies. I know. It's a I tried to make it cooler. I know. I'm not edgy. No. Sorry. <laughs>